All right then, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a VLOOKUP table. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. Um, essentially, in this, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create grades for our students automatically. So I'm going to create a table over here. I'm going to have one column for score and another column for grade. And in this column for score, I'm going to put in some scores. So I'm going to say, OK, my test was out of 15, for example. Um, and the grey boundaries was maybe like a 5 for a C, a 7 for a B, uh, a 9 for an A, and 12 for an A star or A plus or whatever we'll call it. OK, so um, obviously if they got a, a, a 0, they got a U. That'll be a C, that'll be a B, A, I'm going to do an A plus. Okay, so let's just make this table easier to read. Okay, so um, this is where the grade is going to appear. Now I could do this manually, I could say, right, Anthony got 10, that means he got an A. Um, I could do that, okay, but that would be rather long-winded. And if they retook the test, again, I want it to update automatically. So how do we do this? Well, it's quite simple. Remember, all formulas start with an equals. Okay, so we're doing a VLOOKUP here. Put that keyword in there so you can see that. We're doing a VLOOKUP and all formulas start with an equals. And then I'm going to use this VLOOKUP formula. Uh, so I type in VLOOKUP and I open the brackets. Now, if you look carefully, it does show you what you need to type in. So the th first thing is I'm looking up this lookup value. So the lookup value is actually the score that they got. And then I press comma. It then makes table array bold. Well, the table array is actually our data, the score and the grade we want to return. Um, now, I want to make that an absolute cell reference, and we'll do some videos on that in a moment. But for now, just press F4 uh, once to put dollar signs in front of each letter in each number. Press comma. Oh, I accidentally deleted it. Let's put that back in. F4. Uh, the next thing says column index number. Well, we want to return the grade. So grade is in column two of this table. So we're going to return two. Press comma. It then says, do you want an approximate match or an exact match? Well, in this case, we want an approximate match. So we're going to do two. Oh, true, sorry. Uh, and we're going to press enter. Okay, so it returns A. Now, when I drag this down, it puts in all the scores. So I can see that Anthony got 10. So yes. That's good. Um, that's an A. Beth got nine, which is bang on an A. Charlie got a C because she got six. Um, and she falls right in between the five and seven. So that's uh, definitely a C. Deb got 12. So she got an A, uh, a star, A plus. And Ethan got 10, which puts him on the A. Now what's really good about this is say, OK, Charlie, we did the test. And this time they scored 13. Their score updates automatically as well as there's all the other information we've got in here because it's all using formulas okay um, so that's why VLOOKUPs are really useful we can use them to help us create content on our spreadsheet and all we need to do is manipulate the data